Assalamu alaikum guys. I hope you all will be fine. Today in this video lecture, I would like to guide you about strip footing. What is strip footing? Size of strip footing and its steel reinforcement details. This is very important topic if you are working on construction site. This is specially designed for three-story residential building. So let's get started guys. Guys, you can see this is called strip footing. The footings which are connected by a beam. So this is called strip footing. Guys, you can see clearly. These footings are connected by an RCC beam. So therefore, it's called strip footing. When we don't connect the footings by a beam that is called combined footing or individual footing. Guys, you can see the size of this footing is 4 by 4 feet. You can see its steel reinforcement. The depth of this bed is 9 inches. But with concrete cover, it will be 12 inches. Guys, you can see. We have 12 mm uh, steel dia with the spacing of 6 by 6 inches. Guys, you can see. These all footings are connected by an RCC beam, which size is 9 by 12 inches. Guys, you can see clearly. Strip footing we are providing on those places where the bearing capacity is low. This is a double mesh. Depth is 9 inches. With concrete cover, it will be 12 inches. Spacing for main and distribution bar is 6 inches or 150 mm on the top of this they will provide columns the column will be provided on the top of this footing this is ground level under this mesh they will provide concrete cover which will be up to 3 inches or 75 mm. Guys, you can see clearly. At the bottom, we have lapping, which is up to 12 inches. So this is the best steel reinforcement details. An RCC beam, we have totally Four steel rods, dia is 12 mm, stirrup is 6 mm, guys you can see we have totally 5 steel rods, 3 at the bottom, 2 at the top, dia is 12 mm, stirrup hooks are provided on 90 degrees so it should be provided on 135 degrees so they did a mistake in this uh, place especially for hooks hooks length should be up to three inches guys you can see this is the bottom mesh and you can see the lapping at the bottom but the column will be placed on the top of this mesh spacing of stirrups are up to eight to nine inches After completion of this steel reinforcement, they will provide the shuttering on the edges of these footings, then they will start concrete. Here guys, you can see this is combined footing because we don't have more space between these footings. So therefore, this is combined footing and the other footings are strip footing. They are providing the shuttering specially for, uh, from brick masonry, guys, you can see. Then they will start concrete. This is 60 grade steel rods. That is corner footing. So again you will find the combined footing there. 
because that is boundary footing so therefore this is provided at the boundary of this plot therefore the beam is not at the center because this is boundary footing They will do M20 grade concrete, which ratio is 1 ratio 1.5 ratio 3, which characteristic strength is 20 Newton per mm square, because this is foundation, therefore, they should do the, uh, the better grade of concrete. Guys, you can see the stirrup spacing is up to 8 inches, connected by all footings. Maximum span or distance between footing is between two footing is up to 20 feet and minimum is up to 4 feet. I hope this short video can help you. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.